I haven't felt so lost. I can't even remember how I got here. I just woke up. Then I'm suddenly here, with this. What do I do now? I don't have any reason to go on living. <laughs> but I feel like something or someone is calling me. There has to be a reason why I'm here. I guess it's time for me to look around. Is somebody there? Hello? Can you open the door? Go away. You're disturbing me. Oh, thank God. I finally found someone. Could you help me? No. Please? Fine. Are you lost, miss? Amelia. My name is Amelia. You're the only person I've come across in hours. What's your name? Leon? Say, Amelia, are you real? What? I said, are you real? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Well, to be honest, you're the only other person I've come across as well. This mansion is empty. I can't leave. Amelia, tell me. You believe in fate? Um, not really. That's fine then. Leon, can you let me in? There's nothing here. It's a dead end. What if I said I did believe in fate? You should. That's what brought you here. And that's how you found me. I suppose you can say that. It's not a coincidence. Fate brought you to this world. You were born from a wish to find someone. Nick. Nick, you're right. I'm starting to remember why I'm here now. He's looking for you. That isn't you. You're someone that he wishes for. Leon, do you know something? I do, and you'll find out why.
Come find me when you can, Nick. I have something for you. Wait for me. I got a letter. It was delivered to me today from Emily, my girlfriend. I couldn't believe it. It just didn't seem real. Something about it just didn't make sense. She died from cancer just recently. How can a dead person write a letter? It was in her handwriting. I know it is. So it had to be real. I just can't make sense of it at all. It felt like she was still here, next to me. The letter said to wait for her. Emily? Is that you?
No, 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 it's not you. Emily? No, I'm Amelia. Do I look like your girlfriend? Actually, you do. You sound the same. You have the same face, but just different hair. Nick, I'm here for you. I'm real, aren't I? Emily. I told you, my name's Amelia. <laughs> You're so forgetful. Remember our first date? You accidentally bumped into a waitress and you made a mess onto someone else's table. How do you know about that? You're not Emily. No, I'm not. You're Amelia. Yes, I am. So don't believe me, honey? Maybe someone else can help you believe it. You were waiting for someone, right? Well, they're here now, Nick. Also, you forgot this. Goodbye now. Wait, who's here? Where did you get this? Whose blood is this? Where are you going? Hello, Nick. You came. Emily, you're here. Emily, what's going on? I think you know what's going on. What? I, I have nothing to do with this. I gave that to you as a gift, and you used it against me. I was sick, and you left me when I needed you the most. What? I did not. Yes, you did. You left me. You hurt me. You didn't want me around. Emily. Stop. Want me to jog your memory? Look over there. I couldn't watch you suffer anymore. No. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. That's what I wanted to hear. You've killed me, and now you're suffering for it. Goodbye, Nick. Hey, Nick, you there? You left the door open. I heard a noise. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Hey, buddy, you all right? What you, um, what you reading there, Nick? It's a letter from Emily. Nick, there's nothing on that paper. Um, I came because I heard some loud noises. What the fuck? 
what happened to you? Emily, she's sick. She has cancer. I just don't want her to suffer anymore. Where is Emily? She's upstairs, resting peaceful. What did you take? Hey, hey, what did you take? Hey, no, no. 911, 911. 